I'm here with Kerry, and Kerry's driven all the way down from Newcastle to see me. Um, with a little galah, well, she's a standard size galah. Uh, her name is Forrest, and she's apparently very famous up around Newcastle area. And Sydney. Uh, and she's going to become more famous, I believe. We will see. Anyway, Forrest is here to uh, have a little bit of a health checkup. She hasn't been checked by me for about three and a half years, and um, she's been prompted to be brought down here today because. This morning, a lump was discovered between her legs on the lower side of her abdomen. And I've already had a bit of a glance at that uh, and been having a feel of her, and I've decided we'd make a recording. So what I've found so far is that she has two lumps that I think are fatty tumours. I've found that there is uh, evidence of some recent bleeding around the base of, some of, the, uh, base of the bigger tumour, um, which is a little bit unusual and the colour of the bruising under the skin is dark brown, um, blackish, suggesting that it's about five, seven days of age rather than um, something that's happened on the way here or something that happened two weeks ago. In 10 to 14 days, the bleeding, uh, the bruising usually looks uh, greenish tinged or there's a greenish hue to it. So, we're going to um, review what we can do for her. Um, the fact that there has been some bruising suggests either that she's had a fall. She does have a, she is unable to fly um, because she's got a, a damaged wing and that's a long, long time ago. Um, so she could have had a fall or she may have some liver disease where there's a vitamin K deficiency or something predisposing hemorrhage. Irrespective of that, it, it generally means that we don't rush into surgery. And certainly, whereas in my earlier days as a vet, as a bird vet, I used to rush in and do surgery on these sorts of, these sorts of tumours, these days we can very often get the tumours to disappear or to shrink down so that they're not a problem through dietary management and the use of dietary supplements and um, uh, things of that nature. So while you uh, were coming here, I decided that I would make up in advance to save you a little bit of time because you've got a lot of driving, two and a half hours one way, two and a half hours the other way. Um, I've started making up some uh, preparations for you. One is a solution of uh, zeolite, uh, zeolite solution, and that is to bind toxins. And um, because these lumps are partly due to obesity, overeating, they're partly due to malnutrition and I think they're partly due to the presence, likely presence of a Rio virus or that's been with her for life. But a number of things interact uh, to predispose to these tumours and um, my, as a holistic vet, my approach is to minimise the need for surgery, minimise the need for drugs and to use natural products um, as far as I can when I believe that they're going to help. I'm not allowed to make any claims for these products, they're, they're human products, they're patented for human use and I just happen to use them off label and we wait and see what the body does and I'll get you to report to me. So anyway, let's um, bring her out of this box and we'll say hi. Oh yes, you're very happy there. Um, she is showing Randy Bird behaviour um, and we made a little recording of that uh, a little bit earlier so we might slip that into the video if we put this video together. <laughs> Someone behind the camera is <laughs> a little bit embarrassed bit about embarrassed. that, but however, <laughs> that's great. To, <laughs> that's a great story, doesn't it? <laughs> and um, oh, you're just the most beautiful birdie there. You might notice that this wing, the left wing, is very droopy compared to the right wing, and that's because she's had a shoulder injury. She was hit by a truck. Uh, hit wiped hit by a truck. A, wiped out a whole family. She was the only. Right. She was the survivor of a family of glass. How lucky you are, Forrest, and you've got beautiful, beautiful owners. <laughs> yes, you have, and they really want to do the right thing by you. Mm. So, okay, I'll, I'm just going to use a towel. She's a little bit nippy when she knows she's having a clinical examination. So what I do here is I roll the, the <laughs> side of a towel uh, until I've got a nice thick roll there that's going to go around her neck and keep her busy up there. And this is about the length of her 